In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite little concept from the empty tray stack to really attack the short side of the field, the Mabel coverage that a lot of people are running in Madden. This is a great concept to really force them to get out of that. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this concept in today's video. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If it's your first time visiting my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks. Madden 22 is right around the corner. we got a lot of content planned for you. We're going to be uploading eight videos a minimum day. Um, we're also going to be streaming every single day for Madden 22 launch, so be sure to be out and be on the lookout for that. We're also going to be having some guides available for you day one, and one of those things that we've been working on is a five wide receiver offense that you are going to absolutely have a blast with this is out of the pittsburgh steelers offensive playbook and what we're going to show you today is something that we actually put in our true fan membership um we put the whole offense in there so if you want to get the whole offense it's in the true fan membership that is just five bucks a month you can cancel it at any time the link is in the description if you want to get access to it but what it is is it's a very good way to be able to basically run a smash concept i absolutely love the smash concept this year specifically in terms of next gen madden and what we can accomplish with that and so we're just going to use this play here z under that's the best play in my opinion you could also use bench corner for this but we're going to use uh, z under to show this it's very simple it's just a two wide receiver concept um we actually broke down the smash concept as well in our route encyclopedia guide which i'll talk about in a little bit but that's a great resource and i'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description as well but let's go over z under real simple we're not really going to be looking at any of the other routes on this and real quick you just want to make sure that your two receivers are to the short side of the field so you see that i moved the ball over to left hash if the ball was on the opposite hash i would just simply flip the formation okay so all we're going to do really simple is we're just going to um we're just going to take the square receiver and we're going to put him on a hitch and then we're just going to motion him out just a step or two outside the numbers and what you're going to see is the spacing on this is going to be very successful at really messing with the cover three style of defense the meta mabel defense that you often see as you can see here i'm setting it up i've got my zone drops on 10 or 30 10 and 10 there's the mabel coverage the vaunted the the very effective mabel coverage you don't have to motion him out either because you are on the short side of the field if i don't motion him out you're going to see here we're going to get a little bit more separation um to the to the corner route and the reason why that is is because what we've done is we've really kept that corner inside of the left kept them inside leverage so it allows us to have a significant amount of space to now be able to throw this corner out to the outside another reason i absolutely love this passing concept is because of what it does to seam flats seam flats in my personal opinion and i think a lot of people would agree with me this year are one of the glitchiest and most difficult to deal with underneath zones because they do such a good job at stopping some of the meta stuff like quick posts quick slants drags curls stuff like that what you're going to see in this video is this seam flat really gets sucked inside and I can throw this corner out with a lot of ease and a lot of precision. The seam flat zone will never, and I mean never ever, will it get out there and cover this corner route, which is what makes this so daggone effective. Not only by running the corner out to the short side of the field, and I've talked about this some on my channel before, by running a corner route on the short side of the field, what happens is the deep blue never really defends the corner combine that with the fact that we've now figured out a way to glitch out seam flat zones just as much as we can glitch out cloud flats by using hitches that is what makes this so daggone special now i want to talk a little bit about the hitch route i haven't given it a lot of looks yet let me show you this hitch route what i like about this hitch route is you're going to see here that really no zone in the game is going to defend it it's one of the most unique routes in the game i've talked about this for years of madden i've actually broken this down in my route concept encyclopedia as well this is really one of my go-to underneath style routes you're going to see i'm going to put a vertical hook out there you'll notice that he won't defend this and this is due to the fact that this there's a grid system in madden i i started to kind of come to grips with this concept when i was studying some of the things that ant camp 24 has been talking about as i was trying to kind of get back up to speed in the competitive madden community he kept talking about this grid system and the fact that zones have different grids and different spots on the field at which they're going to drop and if a route is in that grid they'll cover it but if the route is not in the grid they'll basically ignore it 
Well, outside the numbers is the best place to run a hitch route because it's outside of the yellow zone grid and it's inside of the cloud flat grid. But the problem is the cloud flat grid is gonna get pulled outside by the, by the corner route and then the seam flat is gonna get pulled vertical by the corner route because it's a vertical route and then an outcut route. So it's basically pulling both the seams. It's also stretching the flat zones. And so this is what you get, end up with. This hitch route can be thrown against every single Mabel coverage in the entire game, and it makes it impossible to stop with your without using it. The problem with that for the defense is they cannot stop the left side of the field without their user contention to be on the left side of the field. So what we can do on this back side is anything that we really want to. One of my favorite little concepts to run on the back side of this is just a simple curl. Um, just a simple curl uh, flat concept. Something as simple as like this, real easy, real simple hitch curl out route, the idiot beater from TNC. This is a great principle and a great concept because once again, where do these routes get to on this grid? It's such an important tip, such an important point. And really what you've done is you put the user in no man's land. He can't win. If he goes to the left side, which is what he has to do to stop this hitch route, then all I have to do as a, as a uh, quarterback is simply throw the curl um, to X or the, the uh, hitch to Scotty Miller. Whichever one of those is open is where I'm gonna throw. Typically, the hitch is gonna be wide open, uh, as you saw right there. So just a lot of great opportunity, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite plays of all time. Um, this has truly become one of my favorite plays in the entire game. Another little thing that you can do if you want to have some fun is you certainly can use this, um, this basically, like if you have Hot Run Master, I can use a post, and then what I can do is I can run a hitch, and then I can run a curl. So I've got curl, post, hitch. Great concept, really hard to use or defend. And as you'll see here, this post comes across and gets in a really tender spot within the coverage. This is a great concept to beat Mabel coverage. It's one of my favorite in the entire game. And I would encourage you, if you have not already checked out my uh, five wide out of the empty tray stack, this is something that is really, really effective. And this is something that I think is gonna be really, really effective in Madden, uh, in Madden going forward. You're going to see this is gonna be a great concept. It's a great uh, combination. Something like this you could also do if you have Hot Route Master. This is a great little read, but you take a look at this corner route. I mean, look how open that is on the sideline. If you have Gunslinger, it becomes even more open. You don't have to have Hot Route Master. If you don't have Hot Route Master, please just do this setup right here and you will be successful. This is a great passing concept, I'm telling you right now this is so hard to defend if they're sending pressure at you just put Gronkowski on a hitch and there's if they're sending pressure you're gonna be able to beat them with somebody on this side of the field their user can't defend everybody this is a great play to go to whenever you just need to get some quick yards and you know that they're running a lot of Mabel coverage now this concept will beat more than just Mabel coverage I didn't spend a ton of time in this video talking about this as a as a concept that can beat more than just Mabel coverage but I'm just gonna show you the smash concept against cover two it's actually the the concept that was built to be good against and as you can see the corner route gets under the cover two at a 30 yard cloud flat zone drop as well as your little hitch was standing wide open the entire time there is no zone in this game that will stop this hitch route there is no zone in this game that will stop this hit, hitch route as long as you have that corner route next to it you'll see here even this vertical hook it's not in the grid see he's not in the grid see how that that little force field kind of shoves that yellow zone out that shout out to AntCap24. That's something that I learned from him. And because it, when you start looking at the game through this lens of like, there's these grids that zone coverage is going into, it really opens up the playbook and really helps you understand, okay, the grid ends here. So if I attack this point, this very specific point, it's gonna be effective. So this is a great play. If you wanna learn the entire empty tray stack offense that I've been running for the last month, I put it in the true fan membership uh, down in the description. There's a link to that. It's just five bucks a month. You can cancel anytime. Get you access to the most up-to-date stuff that I have on offense, defense, and also my most up-to-date breakdowns on pro players. Uh, we try to get 12 videos out to you every single month. And so we got a lot of work to do to finish out July. We got a lot of content coming on the course of the next week for that. And if you've not got the route encyclopedia yet, I would encourage you to do that. It's a great resource. We're gonna be adding more and more to it. Um, it's really meant to be a, uh, a brain dump, a glossary, a dictionary, an encyclopedia of sorts that can really help you understand 
these are concepts that have been effective forever. We talk about triangle concepts, levels concepts, verticals concepts, um, all of that stuff. So if you want to get access to that, both of those links are down below. Just grab whatever you want. Thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to start using the smash concept in your offense.